Holiday charities and food pantries are a very popular tradition during the holiday season. Churches and storehouses are already accepting canned goods, toiletries, and other food goods. One of many holiday charities going on in town is the food pantry in the Mills County Storehouse. Hi, I'm Barbara Kyman. And I'm Dick Neiman. Welcome to the Mills County Storehouse and Food Pantry. Basically, we receive donated uh, clothing and toys and household goods in good repair, and we process those, sort those, and then offer them for sale at thrift store prices. The toys that are in really good shape, gently used or new, uh, we sort and save for Operation Santa. The food pantry, we ask that people who utilize our service uh, apply through the Department of Human Services. That way, um, there's probably other services and resources that they need as well. And um, the Human Services Department uh, then checks their income guidelines, um, the number of people in their households, and certifies that for us. Um, people can uh, come here and use their uh, their status and gain um, the use of full orders of, of food from us um, every three months and they also can receive a, a complimentary um, commodities order once a month and emergency orders as they need. And uh, what we do in the food pantry here is that we stock food that basically can be used for meals. Uh, we don't stock you know things like candy or things like that but basically uh, things that will f fulfill a you know regular meal plan so we stock vegetables we stock fruit we stock juice we stock various kinds of vegetables we have various kind of vegetables we stock cereal we stock individual meals pasta, canned chicken, and various other canned meats, peanut butter and jelly, and tomato sauce, uh, spaghetti sauce, again things that, that people can use to put together to make meals. The, uh, we also stock various different kinds of soup uh, to supplement the meal. Along with that we have chicken that we give out, we have uh, catfish that we give out, we have right now we have spam, we have uh, pork patties, uh, and we we give out bread and we give out margarine. Um, so we uh, we welcome volunteers. Our organization is a hundred percent volunteers. No one is, is salaried at all. No one receives uh, any compensation for their labors other than gratitude from the people that we help. And we welcome uh, uh, contributions of not only clothing, uh -huh. but also food uh, and you know various sundry items such as paper goods, uh, toilet Pers paper, yeah. uh, personal items to include shampoo, uh, deodorant, uh, uh, you know, various things of that nature. We believe it's as important for our families to be clean as it is to be nourished. So, um, in order to keep our families dignified, we offer them a full array of cleaning products and personal care items. We also do offer a $20 voucher uh, for a family of one to three um, that they can go to the local grocery stores here and purchase items that we don't have. Um, that voucher can only be used for um, nutritious food, no tobacco, alcohol, candy, soda, any of those kinds of things. Um, and the voucher size goes up in accordance with the, with the family size. Um, they can come down here during our open hours, which are uh, Mondays 12 to 5, Tuesday through Friday 10 to 3, and Saturday uh, 9 to 12. Um, and if they are unable to access us at that time, they can contact either myself, Barbara Kyman, or Dick Neiman, and uh, we'll, we'll help them get what they need. The items are dropped off normally uh, uh, when we're open, right at the front desk here. If, uh, they, uh, if we're not open, they, if they put them right outside the door, 
uh, up to to the storehouse. That that be food I or not food items, but normally clothing and uh, items that they're contributing to the uh, to the thrift store. We uh, we serve in the neighborhood of 50 to 65, 50 to 70 families a month, uh, and we're talking anywhere from 100 to 125 uh, people involved in the families. Mm -hmm. hmm. So we have some larger families. We have a lot of singles. Um, we have we have all varieties. We do keep track of of things for various grants that we apply for for like how many seniors or veterans or kids in the house, those kinds of things. Okay. But all, all ages and stages. Okay, and um, you guys obviously have people that donate from, you know, around Glenwood, but do you have people outside of Glenwood that donate as well or other organizations? Yes, we do. Um, our, our biggest majority is uh, this side of the county, but uh, we do have fr some from the other side of the county as well. And we do serve the entire county. This is not a Glenwood organization. This is a county organization. But the Mills County Storehouse isn't the only one doing good for the needy. Grace United Methodist Church also has a food pantry of their own. Um, my name is Lynn Mueller. I'm the secretary here at Grace Methodist Church, and I also volunteer at the Mills County Ministerial Association Food Pantry, which is housed at Grace Methodist Church. The rules are you, you need to live in Mills County and bring some ID showing that you live in Mills County, and that is pretty much the main rule as far as being accepted at our pantry. We I have personal hygiene items that we um, give to clients if they choose and they can receive those items once a month and then they can come for food twice or well every two weeks. Our pantry is totally run by volunteers. Um, we, <clears throat> we can always use more volunteers. We pick up our own orders at the food bank so we have I think three or four gentlemen that have volunteered their vehicles and their time to go in and pick those up. Um, but we can always use somebody else on call. And we also have three to four volunteers a day each, each Thursday at our pantry, um, each shift. So we can always use more volunteers there, especially during the holiday time when people are really busy. And also during the winter, because sometimes people leave town for the winter. Um, so yeah, and you just call Grace Methodist Church and um, I can, Mar Mike Carney is the one who has the scheduling for the volunteers, but if you call me, I can pass your information on to Mike. We accept all food items and we accept toiletry items such as deodorant, uh, toothpaste, toothbrushes, shampoo, cream, uh, conditioner, body wash, bar soap, Toilet paper, paper towels, Kleenex, chapstick, gloss, any of those sort of items. Um, and like I said, any food item. We'll even accept uh, deer meat, um, almost just about anything. If somebody wants to donate it, we'll accept it. How many, how many families and what type of families do you guys serve? Well... I don't know what type of families, people who need assistance. Um, we don't check to see if they're on public assistance. I, we know that several of our clients are. We, last month, you know, the month of October, we had 63 households that we served, which was, um, and 23 of them came twice. Uh, there were a total of 274 people that we helped. Um, 99 of them were children, 147 were adults, and 28 were senior citizens. So, um, you know, they all seem to be on some limited income. Um, some of them are, um, have at least one person in their household that are, is working. Um, a lot of the time the moms are at home taking care of the kids. Um, so. Uh, we serve. We have served people from Malvern, Pacific Junction, Mineola, Imogene, and Emerson. So, all of Mills County, and then several from Glenwood. But those are the communities that we do have. You know, regular clients, or we have had 
clients from those towns in Mills County. So, um, last week we were we served 28 households, and that is a record. Um, <laughs> so word is getting out, but the need is is becoming more greater, and uh, so you know we we definitely need people to support our pantry. Um, but we know that, that most of the people that come to our pantry do need the help. So we're glad we can be here and assist them. Mm -hmm. If you would like to contact the Mills County Storehouse, call 712-527-5141. If you would like to contact Grace United Methodist Church, call 712-527-4607.